Virgo, welcome to your general reading. Let's see what's happening with you. This is for anybody with a Virgo placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Remember, these messages may be vice versa. It depends who's watching as to whose perspective it plays out from. Things may uh, play out for you immediately and other things may take months to happen. That's how Tarot works, okay? It's energy, so... Uh, could be a combination of your energy and somebody else's. Can be family member, a friend, a love interest, a crush, an ex, a child of yours, a co-worker. So again, you're all going to be different. So take what resonates, okay? And again, leave what doesn't. Let's see what's happening for you. So these are the two row dice for those of you that are brand new. For those of you returning, thank you for continuing to support the channel. And these free readings, you can continue to support them by hitting the like button. It's a fantastic and free way to support them. I truly appreciate it. Uh, let's see what's happening. Wow. Ooh, you got the tower. Okay. So some of you may be really kind of wondering what's going on here. Um, there is a final decision here being made. I feel somebody wants to come in and apologize to you. They want to bring everything out into the open. I feel like this person's willing to do whatever it takes. Okay. I feel like this person has been learning a lot of lessons. I feel like they're having sudden realizations they didn't have before, like disappointment. Um, this person, you know, Virgo may have been uh, thinking too much about things that happened in their past and making assumptions that things would go wrong in the future. This is also, some, also somebody, uh, I feel, who, you know, wants to stabilize your connection. This is somebody who is single, financially independent, this also may be somebody who recently closed a chapter in their life, okay? And they they feel like you are their wish. They could have been selfish in the past, this person. They want to apologize for that as well, if that's the case. This definitely could be somebody that came off as, you know, you may have felt like you couldn't trust them. You felt like they were always trying to get away with something. You may have felt this person was always playing games. They want to apologize and reach out for that as well. This person, okay, I'm going to hold them up, but they're very tiny. There's a king of pentacles. So this is also somebody that may have, you know, done really well financially for themselves. They may have been testing you, wanting to go really slow. Um, they wanted to make sure that, you know, they may have judged you prematurely, wanting to make sure that you weren't after them maybe for their money. If this is somebody, like I said, for some of you that has a lot, um, and they may have passed judgment too soon on you. Okay, but you're coming up as very financially independent and secure in your own right. Okay, you may have closed this chapter and shocked the heck out of them and told them they were selfish. And that's what took them to realize that, you know, they want to reach out now and say they're sorry. Um, there could have been a breakup and a shakeup between the two of you here is what I'm getting. Okay, all right, let's get into the double decker vintage Zolar deck. Let's see what's going on. We're going to keep digging. We are not done yet. We're also going to get messages from your person, love messages, what they would like to say to you on, um, you know, a loving message towards you. See what's going on. We're also going to get your spirit messages, what your spirit guides would like to say to you and animal spirit guides. We're also going to get your person's energy on the other deck and the mutual energies between the two of you. We're just going to dig. Let's see what's going on. Okay. So interesting. So, you know, this is somebody who's financially single, independent, able to take care of themselves. This is their wish. So if this person wasn't financially stable and independent and single, it's their wish to become so now. They may have closed a chapter in their life and they want to come towards you and they want to tell you about that for some of you here. But for others of you here, this is you. Your wish is to be financially independent, stable and stay that way. You quite like your independence. You've been very disappointed in this person. Okay, they really let you down. You feel like this person um, took advantage of you or played games with you. You feel like they've been nothing but dishonest. Okay, so you may not accept this person's apology is kind of what I'm getting for some of you here. Wow, we have the world card twice. We have the Nine of Cups twice, and we have the Nine of Pentacles twice. So this is, I'm closing a chapter. I'm financially independent. I'm doing well. This is my wish is to close this chapter. But, you know, there has been some turmoil surrounding it. Disappointment. Stress. Some of you may be seeing 555. Yeah, that means change is coming. So the change is we're closing one door here. Learning lessons. 
and we're suddenly realizing here that wow like i'm i'm understanding here that i played one too many games there was too much stress I judge somebody too early and I want to say I'm sorry. That's what I keep getting. Okay, so there's conflict here. It could be jealousy. Maybe somebody played games with your heart and tried to, you know, make you jealous. Put you in a position that was uncomfortable with other people. Why is this five of wands here? Why is this five of wands here? Okay. Okay. Nine of swords. Somebody is, you know, this per nine, 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 five, five, five. Interesting. Okay. So this person is feeling guilty, regretful. This person has not been able to sleep very well because they put you in, a, you know, an uncomfortable, stressful position or situation because your connection has not been stable. It hasn't been moving at all. It's been unstable. And they're regretful of that now. Hmm. Clarify the Nine of Swords, please, for Virgo. Look at that. Okay, so that's the Queen of Wands. This person didn't understand who you were. They're seeing you now as, you know, they saw you as the Queen of Wands. Okay, so first off, they saw you as fun, flirtatious, a good time. They didn't take you seriously, maybe, for some of you here. They regret that now. They judged you too soon. They want to say they're sorry. Yep, they regret doing that. Clarify the Queen of Wands, please, for Virgo. This person left you stuck and all in your head. Why? Eight of Swords. Why is it here? Mm, ace of wands yeah see so they made you feel like there were others they made you feel like you were just another person that they could have a good time with boy do they regret that now if that's the case now remember this may not resonate for all of you if it's not your story it's not your story don't force it to fit okay this is general reading right if you want a personal reading you go to shacy.com all the information by the way which i think i forgot to mention is down below you hit the more button and then a whole box will open up shacy.com for personal that's geared more towards your energy this is somebody that's feeling you know i, I feel so bad i feel so guilty you know, I've learned a lot here. <clears throat> this connection has not been stable. You know, I thought it was all about the passion and the fun. So they may have, you know, been playing and messing with you and having a good time with you because they, saw, they see you as, you know, yeah, financially independent and a lot of fun. They weren't taking you seriously kind of what I'm seeing clear for the ace of wands and you're feeling stuck because you know you thought there was a new exciting beginning you could create with this person and you've been really trying to temper your emotions and be patient with this person but things have not been stable or fair I'm getting a lot of disappointment and regret here a lot of stress. But the one thing I do like is we do have the sun here and the eight of wands and the page of, of cups, which, you know, there's your eight of wands. There's your sun. So this is like, I want to bring you this clarity and this, uh, this apology. Shake up a breakup and apology. I feel like you've been really trying to temper your emotions, Virgo, and be patient. Because you really saw a future with this person. Clarify. Can you clarify temperance, please? For Virgo. Yeah. King of Pentacles twice. Patience and timing with this King of Pentacles. They do want to balance things out with you here. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person does feel guilty. But the timing hasn't been right. They, you know, they 
They may have passed judgment on you too soon here, thinking you were just all about the fun. Maybe they think you didn't want anything serious. Let's get their energy on the other deck. Hang on, Virgo. Let's go check this out. What's going on in Virgo's person of interest energy? Now we're coming toward them in the future with this Ace of Wands, this King of Pentacles showing up twice. What do we need to know? So we got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So it hasn't been hasn't been stable because there's too many people involved too many energies involved here with the five of wands so that's either you and them arguing a lot i feel like there's too many people involved page of pentacles why is a page of pentacles here please for virgo's person of interest oh okay interesting they want to offer you stability now ten of pentacles page of pentacles or that's what they know that you want they may have been they may have misunderstood you before and thought that you just wanted a good time. An offer of stability long term. Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Wow, Virgo. That means they want long term stability, marriage commitment. Or that's what they that's what you want. They know that that's what you want. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles so they kept playing games. Maybe they weren't ready for marriage or commitment. Or they were already in a marriage or commitment. Wow, we have the world card twice again. Once in the tarot dice and once here. So this is, I've been learning my lessons. Okay, I'm closing a chapter. Or I'm learning my lessons and I'm making, okay. So for some of you, this person wants to solidify your connection. They want to apologize. They want to reach out. They want to make things right. They see long-term um, you know, stability, marriage, and everything with you. Okay, they've learned their lessons and they're coming to acknowledge that they've made some mistakes and they, they want things to be better. They want to change things. For others of you, this person was already in a marriage of commitment. They saw that you wanted marriage and commitment, so they messed around and played games. They didn't know that you wanted more. Okay, and now they're wanting more. They want to say they're sorry. They regret making assumptions on you. That that's all you wanted. So. Yeah. That's what I've got. Clarify the world please. Yeah. Okay. So they feel stuck. This is somebody that has been overthinking a lot. They've been learning a lot of lessons. They've been feeling like they can't move left or right. But here's the thing, they need to learn their lessons first from what I'm getting before they can come towards you because otherwise there will be continued conflict. We have the Eight of Swords twice, so you've both been feeling stuck over this. Because there's been a lack of stability in this connection. So the tower has to come down to wipe the slate clean to hit the reset button for them to start over again correctly. Like not judge you too soon or, you know, they needed to go through certain lessons and realizations themselves. That's something that they had to do. You could not do it for them. So I feel like now in the future, they want to correct this, this connection. Clarify the Eight of Swords, please, for Virgo. Wow. See, death, transformation. Your person's going through a transformation. They're going through certain realizations, Okay. This, you know, this is like, I'm hitting you over the head here and I'm waking you up. Close one door, open another. This has not worked. It, you know, it, it didn't work from the beginning because one person thought one way, one person thought another way. We need to end that and start brand new. We need to start fresh. We need to balance the situation out with the Six of Pentacles. And we need to come with the Page of Pentacles. We got the page of pentacles and the page of cups. I feel like this person wants to bring you a tangible gift and an apology and set the record straight because they're thinking about little else here. They're, they're having realizations that, again, for some of you, they just judged you too harshly too quick. They made assumptions. They may have thought, you know, 
I could get whatever I wanted. I'm the king of pentacles. I've got it made. Or maybe you're just after my money or my stability or my home or, you know, it could be that. Like they never really took you seriously for some of you is kind of what I'm seeing here. Or vice versa. Again, feel free to flip the energies. Clarify death, please. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus, an Aquarius, Sagittarius I have here as well. Scorpio again, Scorpio again. So yeah, there is a transformation going on here. Totally, Leo. So somebody's changing the way they think or they're seeing things more clearly here now with the sun. Okay, their hands have been tied because they can think about little else. Okay, they're going through realizations. And once they do that, they will become clear on the direction they're meant to go. There's the sun again. Oh my gosh, the amount of duplications is unbelievable. So they're going to become clear, okay? And that's why they're going to start to feel remorseful, regretful, because they're going to become clear that their actions were not the best. Let's get the mutual energies, okay? What are the mutual energies, please, between Virgo and the person of interest now or coming toward them in the future? Okay, so, you know, angels are asking you to ask them for guidance and support here. Because this has been very difficult. This is definitely, you know, bringing a, about a certain amount of anxiety here. Depression, guilt, and a lack of sleep. Wow. Because they're realizing how unstable everything is. How they maybe put you in the middle of some kind of arguments or jealousy. Could be somebody else. And that's not like you know, very clear. What is clear is there's a, there, there have been challenges in this connection that they want to balance out. They're realizing now they could have, you know, just been playing games with you, you know, thinking that that's all you wanted was fun. And so that's how they looked at you was fun. They didn't take you seriously. It's kind of what I'm seeing. You're both meant right now to focus on self-love and self-care. And that makes total sense because we have the nine of pentacles here, not once, but twice. So perhaps both of you were meant to, you know, if they were to marriage your commitment or you were become single first, financially stable and independent, you know, and then, you know, take your time here and realize what you want with the nine of pentacles, knight of pentacles first. There have definitely been a lot of choices here on both your part and their part to think about you know, choices in love or choices in work or um, just certain decisions going on here. There could have been confusion between the two of you. But Spirit is saying you must both be single and financially independent at best to come together first. So maybe you both, you know, a lack of confidence, lack of clarity. You, you just, this was meant to, to have you both focus on, on yourselves first. There's been heartbreak between you and this person. You both have been maybe in this guarded energy. Like, I don't trust anybody. I don't trust you. You know, seven of swords. So you could have been testing each other. That could be. Let's get the tarot charm. Sorry if that's too loud. I'm, I like to make sure I get the best messages for you. <laughs> wow. See, and we have... We have um, Archangel Gabrielle here too. So your angels are giving you divine guidance right now, asking you to be patient, to balance your emotions right now, this heartbreaking time, especially if you've been going through any anxiety, depression, lack of sleep. Try to balance yourself out first here. Some of you could be dealing with an ex, okay? You could be having problems and healing from an ex. That could be. There is a tower. So Spirit's saying you can build a so solid tower. See the star on there? This is your wishes, your hopes, your dream, your destiny is to build a really strong foundation here. Okay? Look at that. So this person may be like just a really big teddy bear. They could be really guarded, you know? And they thought maybe you were trying to get away. Like maybe you were trying to you know, take advantage of them financially because they're very financially set or you are uh, vice versa here. Or this can definitely represent that they were in a marriage commitment already and they just looked at you as a good time. But, you know, things developed here and they have very sweet feelings here for you with the page of cups and page of pentacles and they want to bring you a gift 
and they're closing this chapter in their life. Okay, it can be this person, you know, really looks at you as a lot of fun, but also a go getter. And they just they felt that their hands were tied, they were going through a, a lot of transition and changes in their life. And they were just behaving badly. Um, they weren't ready for your connection. And they're realizing that, that they're realizing that now that they put you in a very difficult situation for some of you here. Okay, is what I'm getting. There's definitely been a lot of challenges here, but Spirit's asking you to be patient again and learn to just kind of balance those emotions and think about things here. Uh, some of you here, somebody really likes to go cycling a lot, whether it's a motorcycle or whether you like, um, you know, bicycles, whatever the case may be. <laughs> somebody really loves their music or they may be musically connected to you, certain song you hear or they've given you. Um, this is somebody that's like the strong silent type. They don't, there's the rhino. They don't, you know, move unless provoked. Okay, so maybe it's kind of like this person needed time here with temperance and the angel, Archangel Gabriel showing up twice here. They're guarding or protecting their money, their career, their um, financial stability. I definitely feel like if they weren't single before, they want to come and tell you that they are. They've closed this chapter. And that they have regrets of the past of playing games with you. You know, maybe you didn't know they were in a marriage or commitment or you didn't know that um, they felt this way about you. You know, and again, a misunderstanding just between you and them overall. And now it's going to become clear because I'm telling you, the sun is here twice. Look, not once, but twice. So, you know, this is about illumination, growth, success, harmony. There's peace and harmony coming in. And you're going to become clear now on, you know, why this person treated you like they did or why you felt like they were playing games. Like, that's what I'm getting. Wow. They feel intertwined with you at a soul to soul level, whoever this is. Okay. So maybe they just didn't, you know, this is somebody who's like really well grounded maybe they didn't want to look like you know they didn't want to um sort of feel like rejected by you maybe they wanted to make sure you were serious that could be as well wow we've got the cross okay some of you have or this person um, may have had somebody pass away on them For some of you, yeah, because this could have been, this is in your person's energy, death and eight of swords. This could actually be that they've experienced death in their family or somebody in their environment. And so they were very stressed and took it out on you because there was a lot of arguments or fighting within their family or their circle of whoever they're dealing with. And so they needed to take the time to heal. It could even be an ex that passed away for some of you here. I have Victor, Victoria. Vince, Venetia, Violet, Veronica, Vinny, Victory. Okay, well, that's great. Some of you are going to have a victory here. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Because somebody's going to transform your connection. They want things to change here is what I'm getting. They do see long term with you here. What are the mutual energies, please, between Virgo and their person of interest? Look at that. So they want to balance things out with you. This has made them very emotional. I feel like you, you both want the same thing at the end of the day. You want marriage, commitment, long term. I feel like this connection has made you very emotional. I feel like you're both meant to focus on your self-care and learn the lessons you've got the world card here twice and yeah those this was heartbreaking but you know it was so that you could sort out what it was you truly wanted with judgment here judgment is about realizing your rightful path going towards what or who is meant for you and dealing with you know the changes that you go through your person's been going through a pretty big transformation from what i can see here okay they may have been stuck for a long time and 
and they were trying to figure out what they wanted to do. And both you and them have a lot on your plate from what I can see here. But this person, they definitely, you know, whenever they hear a certain song or music, they think about you and they, they do feel tied to you here. And they do want victory. Okay, let's go ahead and get the spirit messages. The spirit messages for Virgo, please. <laughs> let's go ahead. First message. Okay, so we have the turtle and we have the sheep. So in a sense, for the sheep, you are encouraged to reconnect with your inner child in order to become more spontaneous and playful and consider what life has to offer with a greater sense of wonder. Take some time this week to get in touch with the innocence and vulnerability in you. So this can be somebody who is very, very responsible, very rigid, very traditional here with the King of Pentacles, or that's you, whoever's energy this is. And Spirit's saying, take time just to have fun and, you know, just kind of like... Find your inner child again and, and release some of that um, pent up energy of always thinking about, you know, money, stability, tradition, finances, responsibilities. Okay, don't allow yourself self to keep overthinking. Go and have yourself some fun. Um, as far as we know, we only have this one life to live for some of us. Others believe in the afterlife and, you know, it depends what your beliefs are, but, you know. We're, tomorrow's never promised okay turtle calm the turtle wisdom teaches us about walking our path in peace and sticking to it with determination and serenity you may be encouraged to take a break in your busy life look around or within you for more grounder grounded long-lasting solutions so spirit saying take your time you know have a good time and basically you know Yes, stability is important. It is important here to, to ground yourself and have a long lasting relationship, connection, foundation. But you also need to kind of walk your path in peace and don't kind of force anything either. Okay, so whoever that message is for. Let's get your spirit messages for Virgo, please. What are the spirit messages from you, angels and spirits for Virgo? When a door doesn't open, don't waste your energy trying to make it open. Again, just what I said. Wow, I love these messages. They just keep coming. You know, don't force it to open. Don't force it, right? It's closed for a reason. You're being redirected to something far bigger and better. Endings are part of a cycle of life. They make way for wonderful new beginnings and opportunities. So because this door wasn't open at the time, it can be that your spirit guides are leading you towards, you know, opening the door for yourself so that you can have self-motivation, self-care, um, and realize your self-worth, okay, is what I'm getting. Patience and timing is all a factor here, okay? Next message, one, two, three. Are you ready? First message. These are messages of love from your person or vice versa. Overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. Yes. So this is somebody who's been up all in their head, night after night, worrying and thinking about things. And that's why Spirit's saying, don't force anything. Okay. You know, um, again, somebody feeling guilty for judging you too soon or vice versa or playing games with you, not taking you seriously, whatever the case may be. That's what I keep getting. But this is somebody who's moving slowly towards, I feel, wanting to stabilize your connection and going through certain realizations here. Okay, next message. Chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. Okay, so maybe you chase this person or vice versa. It's kind of like, I'm, I'm going to stop forcing things now. I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm taking a time out. You know, I'm feeling stuck. I'm just feeling like I, I shouldn't do anything anymore. Okay, and that's fine. You shouldn't have to chase somebody. Sometimes we just need to be calm like this turtle and kind of realize that, Sometimes we get so busy that we can't see the forest through the trees. We try to rush things because we're used to rushing things every day. But some things just cannot be rushed. And I'm getting that this is one of them. Okay. Because we needed to get our ducks in a row. Because we're overthinking things a lot. Because we're too guarded. Because maybe something happened in our past. We're not ready to move forward. Divine timing here with temperance here twice. Okay. Next message. Dishonesty. By lying, I ripped us apart. So for some of you, yeah, 
this person, you know, they, they were dishonest with you. You know, they may have taken advantage of you because you were fun. You know, they, you were a good time. You gave them their, their mojo back. We've got the queen of wands and, and the ace of wands. You know, you may have lit this person up. You got them excited again. You got them motivated again because this person was, was like kind of hiding like a sheep. They weren't having any fun. They were too traditional. They were too stuck in their ways. You lit their fire. But, you know, it's kind of like, it's like what my dad used to say, say um, when dealing with somebody that's hard to deal with, it's like barking up a dead cow's oss, he used to say. <laughs> British. But anyway, it's kind of like that. This person needed time to figure things out and wake up with judgment here. Okay, I just feel like they needed the time to wake up. And that's not something you can do for them. I feel like you gave them back the spark, the excitement, the fun. And, you know, they kind of took advantage of that. And and um, it's taking them some time to wake up. And I, I think they're going to wake up. And I think they're going to realize that they miss you. They miss that spark is what I'm getting. And, and they want to say they're sorry. So let me know how that resonates. I think it's a fantastic reading. I think that you're going to receive some kind of communication, apology, and maybe a small token or gift that's tangible. But let me know, Virgo. I send you much love and much light. I'm sorry this was so long. I won't make it as long next time. And I will see you all again soon. Don't forget to hit the like button. Again, that's free to do that. It helps support these free readings. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified in the future. And subscribing is absolutely free. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Bye for now.